Hey everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm here today to do something a little bit different. Um, you can see we've got a few of a machine and a grinder combo and an all-in-one machine here. And we're gonna talk a little bit about a the differences between an all-in-one espresso machine, like the Breville Barista Express that we have here today, and having your separate machine and grinder. We've got the Eureka Minion Note and the Breville Bambino right here as well. So I'm not so much comparing these specific options. Um, they're fairly similar, the, the Bambino and the, the uh, Barista Express in terms of their uh, espresso output, which is kind of the point here, is I want to take a couple of similar options and show what the workflow differences are like between having a standalone set like this, uh, and then also talk a little bit about the benefits and, and differences. And then also, just for a little bit of fun, uh, I've got the Note here dialed in on the Bambino, and I've got the Barista Express dialed in, and I'm gonna try pulling a shot using grounds from the Note on the Barista Express and using grounds from the Barista Express on the Bambino. I'm using pressurized, so double wall, double shot baskets in each of the brewers, and I've got the same bag of crew brew, which is, uh, or I'm sorry, I've dialed in, which is our uh, espresso roast that we do with uh, Camber. So I split the bag up between both of these two hoppers, and we're gonna be, uh, so we're using the same exact coffee from the same exact bag, same exact style of portafilter basket, so that we can get a really clear picture of what it's like to kind of swap the grinders around between these two machines. So we're gonna start there, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the differences, and you'll see some of the workflow differences as we go through this. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull some grounds from the Note and run them through the Barista Express. Going for about 16 in, 32-ish out on this sh these shots. Like I said, they're dialed in on their own machines, but um, the actual volumes, as long as we're consistent within the shot, then we should be good in terms of the grinder settings. Okay, so let's give it a shot, see what we get here. Part of why I'm using the pressurized baskets is it gives us a little bit of a chance to, to worry less about the precision here too. All right, perfect. So my uh, my dose that I set up for the, the water is pretty spot on. It's about exactly where I want it, uh, which is great. Kind of shows that some of the automation does carry over even though I'm using the separate grinder. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot. It's about exactly what it was tasting like when I used the grinder here. So it just goes to show that if you do have an all-in-one, then a separate standalone grinder can still work really well with your all-in-one. And this kind of outlines one of the first points that we want to make, which is when you buy one of these all-in-one machines, whether it's the Barista Express or the Barista Pro, or there's a few options out there from other brands, you're getting the machine and grinder combo, which is a really great way to start. And usually what we say is it's kind of harder to upgrade the options independently, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. I mean. I personally wouldn't really want to fit this whole package on my counter, but there's no reason you couldn't use an upgraded grinder with the Barista Express. And, you know, the fine control, the stepless knob on this one, you're probably going to be able to dial in some trickier espressos on the Barista Express with the Note than with the stepped grinder that comes in the unit. Um, this particular, this dialed in coffee that we're using is particularly designed for being pretty roasted for being pretty easy to dial in on multiple machines. So it's gonna be pretty similar across these two, but we might be able to get a better shot out of like a trickier floral single origin with the Note 
on the Barista Express than we would with the built-in grinder. Haven't tested it, maybe we'll do a video on that in the future, but that would be my inkling. And you could definitely do that separate upgrade. Uh, so I'm going to reset and then we're gonna try the Barista Express's grinder on the Bambino. All right, so I've got the scale retaired with the lighter portafilter from the Bambino, and I'm gonna try pulling grounds for a shot from the Bambino using the grinder in the Barista Express. See what we got here. Yeah, perfect. This is just about the exact same in terms of grind amount that I pulled from the um, the Note for the Breeze Express. That was a pretty fast shot. Um, I think my tamp could have been a little bit tighter. But with the pressurized portafilters, it helps to correct for some of those inconsistencies. And even though it was pretty fast, it doesn't taste super sour or super under extracted. And it's definitely of a similar quality to both the shot that I pulled with the Note on the Barista Express and using the Barista Express by itself and using our Note Bambino setup by itself. So again, all of the shots that I've had out of these machines and the various grinder machine configurations today have been pretty comparable. And again, like because we're using a uh, pressurized basket, sorry, um, the, the flavor on this is still pretty good even though it was a little quick. So when it comes to workflow with these machines, uh, and the differences in them. You could kind of see a little bit while I was just going through that, but the biggest thing for me is with a separate setup, you're gonna be able to organize the grinder and the machine and your various other items kind of however you want. So if you are, say, right or left-handed and you like having the grinder on a certain side, that's a change you can make when you have a separate setup like this. It does also mean that the mess is a little less contained. Um, something we see for a lot of people who are getting into grinding and brewing espresso at home is they complain sometimes about grinders being messy. Unfortunately, that's just kind of a factor of um, making coffee and espresso in particular at home. It can be a messy process. So you kind of can get some grounds that spray a little bit while you're using a standalone grinder, um, kind of no matter what the grinder is, whatever the quality level of the grinder is. And it also means that you know, like I said, there's a, the mess can spread out a little bit more. When it comes to an all-in-one like this, you're generally going to have everything contained to this area. However, that can also be a little bit of a problem because you can get some sludge buildup in your drip tray when you have grounds and water mixing. And even though there's a catch in there to try to catch and separate the grounds, sometimes it doesn't do a perfect job. So that's one aspect of the workflow. When it comes to other parts of it, though, they're pretty comparable and the everything's just a little bit tighter on the all-in-one. So really, all this is to say, it's kind of up to you how you wanna approach this. Um, these two setups from a price perspective are fairly similar. It, um, there's a little bit of difference and it depends on what's on sale and what might not be, but generally they're gonna be in a pretty similar price range. With the Breeze Express, you could certainly down the line upgrade your grinder and then take up more room, but you know, you still have the option then of, of having an additional grinder. Um, you could theoretically use this grinder with another brewer, although while this grinder does a really good job in the Barista Express and with the machine like the Bambino, I would probably go for a grinder upgrade first. Whereas if you have these separate options, then you've kind of got that independency built right away. However, sometimes it can take a little bit more work to get 
a grinder from one manufacturer to work perfectly with a machine from another one. Can always do it, but this this all-in-one setup, everything is designed to work right out of the box pretty well with each other, and it's a little easier to get it dialed in at first than with something like this. So, yeah, I mean, really comes down to your personal preference, what you like the idea of. If someone were asking me directly for purchase advice, I would say if you are interested in getting a machine that's going to last you a while, that you can learn on, and that is a simple one-click purchase and you have pretty much everything you need, I'd go with the Breeze Express. If you want that flexibility, I would go with separate uh, grinder and machine. I hope that this video has been fun to watch and that you've learned a thing or two if you're looking at different options like this. If you did like the video, uh, please hit that like button below. Feel free to ask questions in the comments and get subscribed for more coffee content. Thanks so much for watching. Okay.